Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz have both weighed in and are ready to scrap for the rematch for the WBC World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Remstar Says So. Get into this one guys i am fucking gassed oh my god i cannot wait wilder versus ortiz 2 the rematch the first fight was amazing it had everything it had knockdowns it had controversy it had spells where both fighters were dominating the other and it came down to wilder's right hand and getting the job done this time the rematch luis ortiz says that maybe he took wilder Maybe he didn't take Wilder seriously enough. Wilder, he wants to finish the job. Wilder has gone out on a limb and he said that he predicts a first round knockout. This is amazing. Like, what can I say? Deontay Wilder has knocked out every opponent in the first round in the rematches. He knocked out Bermain Stavern in his rematch and he also knocked out yeah, Bermain Stavern's the only person that he's knocked out in a rematch. Um, and he's saying that he's going to do the same for Luis Ortiz. He also knocked out Dominic Brazil in one round after he was chatting shit. Looking at these two fighters, though. <sighs> Luis Ortiz looks like he's in the shape of his life. And that is worrying. Luis Ortiz is 40 years old. And he doesn't look like he's ever been in better physical condition than he is going into this fight. I understand that Luis Ortiz has gone and hired Sean Porter's strength and conditioning coach. But realistically, when I was looking at pictures and videos of Luis Ortiz around May time when Anthony Joshua was offering them the fight and I said he was right to turn it down, he just wasn't in the right physical condition. I just don't know if between May and November you can really turn your body that way around. But I guess he is a professional athlete. I guess he is a very rich man. And I guess when you can afford the best strength and conditioning coach, as well as the best chefs and nutritionists, I guess it can be done. We see boxers all the time who walk around bent out of shape, get themselves into shape in a quick three month training camp. So if Luis Ortiz really did start preparing for this Wilder rematch sometime between May and June, you'd like to think in the last six to seven months, maybe, just maybe, he has gone and done what needed to get done. And he is a clean fighter. But the fact is, Luis Ortiz, he has popped dirty twice before. Once, the first time he was going to fight Wilder, he popped dirty and claimed that he was on high blood pressure medicine. And he's also popped dirty once before. What is really worrying me about this fight, guys, is that I haven't seen any information talking about drugs testing. Is Varna involved? I know that Deontay Wilder being the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, he is Vada tested all year round, but has Luis Ortiz been tested? That is the thing that I need to know. Can I trust that Luis Ortiz, a known drug cheat, a known cheater, somebody who we know will do anything it takes to try and be dirty and squirm his way around. Can I be sure that a man who looks the best shape he's ever been in his life at 40 years old, can I be sure that he has done this the right way? And the answer is no. That is why I'm praying that Deontay Wilder has got both of these guys signed up for regular drugs testing. From what I've been told, the first fight they had, Luis Ortiz was tested 13 times in the last three weeks in the build-up to the fight. How many times has the old man Ortiz been tested now? I don't know. But what I do know is we may have a hell of a fight going into this one. Luis Ortiz stepped on the scales, took his shirt off, and he looked amazing. Coming in at 236 and a half pounds. Deontay Wilder, 219 and a half pounds. As you can see, Deontay Wilder has gradually been putting the weight back up again. If you notice, Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury. 
he weighed 212 pounds um, um, and weigh in and on the night of the fight he was 209 pounds that means that Deontay Wilder over the course of 10 over the course of a year has safely put on 10 and a half pounds of muscle 10 and a half pounds of weight now that sounds like something that you could do in a year especially for somebody with a slim frame if he's been doing the right weights and the eating the right food you can safely put 10 pounds on Luis Ortiz though he looks like he shed about 20 pounds and he just looks weird that's why I'm a little bit concerned but yeah if they're both fighting clean and I'm sure Deontay Wilder is and always will be so if Luis Ortiz is fighting clean I'm sure we've got a fight on our hands and uh, what did you guys think of the weigh-ins I'm gonna do a fight prediction fight later on but this one is just about the weigh-ins do you think that Ortiz is clean do you think that there's been enough Vada testing for this fight I haven't heard much about it. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys. This is just a quick video. Hit like, hit subscribe, share this video, and also make sure you press that bell icon. Come on, guys. I really want to grow this channel, but I need your help. The more you interact with this channel, the more it's going to be positive for the algorithms of YouTube. So all you've got to do is just press like, hit subscribe, press that bell icon, share the videos with your friends. Do what needs to be done. You're part of this team. Let's go. Anyway, that's the end of the show because Ram Star says so.